we were literally like in the studio and next to the studio there's a pool so we would like work a little bit have some drinks and then kind of like get in the pool and put uh, we had like a boom box so put the songs in a boom box and we were like sitting in the pool and it's like this music is really good while sitting in this pool right right yeah. and i was like and then like pool mm, yeah we should like just we kind of decided just only to like create some music and then dj pool parties daytime that was like the concept first we were like yeah there needs to be a, a new genre for like daytime pool parties so we tried to make it
Denmark. My mom is Danish, my dad is from Yugoslavia. And then when I was a kid, we moved to Yugoslavia, and then I moved back to Denmark, and back to Yugoslavia, and back to Denmark, and back to Yugoslavia, and back to Denmark. And then now I'm in LA. And um, I, was, I was touring with Junior Senior in like 2003. And uh, me, or like the whole band, we had like the nice visa for a year, but we only toured for two months. So we were like, oh, let's check out this like America stuff, you know? And then somehow I ended up staying. No, I lived there. I lived there for 10 years. Uh, I was born in San Diego, and I, I left pretty as soon as I could after to San Francisco, and spent maybe 10 years in San Francisco. Kind of bounced around a little bit other places. I lived briefly in Barcelona and New York, but then wound up, just kept winding up back in San Francisco. And then we started this project, and so it was going better than we expected, so I moved to LA to do this.
Well, yes. yeah, I did, what happened is we were... We it were, happened. We were really drunk in New York, and I was living there, and we decided to finish some songs we had been working on maybe four years prior. So I was like, all right, I'll come to L.A. for one weekend, and we'll finish the songs. And we worked on... I don't on, think that's a true story. Yeah, it is. No, because we wanted to make a music video. That was the main... In- well, but the video was for the song that we decided that we started uh, working on a long time ago. Okay. So at any rate, we finished yeah. like a couple songs and then we got like, we were going fast, like two or three a day. And then we got really drunk one day. And Do You Believe was a song we kind of made and we were super drunk and it just kind of popped out, like made it in maybe an hour. And then we put a rough demo online because originally Philip was going to be, none of us were going to be the singers and it was never going to be a band. And so Philip sang the scratch vocal, and the actual the idea was uh, Mayor Hawthorne. We were hoping would sing. Really? Yeah. 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 So um, I mean, that's what we were like. Yeah, Mayor Hawthorne would be great to sing this track, and uh, we put it online as a demo because it cost money to to buy a private SoundCloud. So we're just like, who's gonna ever hear the song? We'll just put the demo up, send the link to a couple friends, and the next morning we woke up and we had multiple thousand plays and three offers from labels to release the song and the rest is kind of the
I mean, we started out as two people on here. That was kind of weird because uh, it's not as electronic as people like think it is or whatever. It's like most of the instruments on the album are played live. So being a two piece and having a lot of like backing track was a little strange. I mean, it worked out, but you know. Now, the first tour was just the two of us. Yeah. And he was bass and vocals, and I was like taking care of the electronic side. And it's way better now with the more musicians. Yeah, more and then, you know, like now he's playing guitar. We actually had guitar on the backing track, which is the, probably the strangest instrument to have on a backing track because it's such a, you know, so organic, you know? So that was like a good upgrade to have guitar live instead of on the tracks. And then uh, we just played FYF Festival and we actually added a really cool percussionist. And I think that's something we're trying to do in the future is like, see how many people we can afford to bring on because yeah. like like it it's still like we should have like an eight piece band yeah, to like completely play live as as it should be you know
DJing is awesome now because it's just casual. We show up and, and play records, and it's it's really cool. And there's not a lot of work that goes into it. But the band, you know, you bring a lot of people, sound check, load in, getting everything right. It's a lot more responsibility. The the craziest thing for me is that I never sung, I've never been singing in my whole life at all. And like in three of my bands, there was like talk of me singing backing vocals. And I could not figure out to play and sing at the same time. It was just like impossible. So Ad always got like, it's like, nah, that's not gonna work out. And then all of a sudden... We got forced into it. We got forced <laughs> into it because like, we said yes to a tour with the, the Rapture for a month tour. And we had like a little over a month to like prepare it. And we thought we were gonna be DJing, you know? Yeah, that's, it's actually a funny story. We, I kept communicating with them and they kept asking me to send our stage plot. And I was like, it's, dude, just CDJs, CDJs. it's all fine. It's cool. And so then like two weeks later, they get back, we're like, cool, like just send your stage plot. And I'm like, we don't need, you know, like just kept getting a circle. And then finally they're like, it was like three or four weeks out. And they're like, you know, if you want to do the tour, you need to play live. And we had never even considered it. And so we had to so like, that's like being in like your 30s and having to learn something that new, like playing bass and singing, like, uh, it was like <laughs> impossible, impossible. I was like driving around my car and found these like techniques, like, like, because it was so hard and like, and we had three weeks to do this and we're going on a US tour and it was like the scariest <laughs> thing in my life. And like one day all of a sudden, like, just Shit, happened. I got it. Yeah, we take it really casually, like we're not ambitious, like, okay, next year we're going to do this and this and this, but we like, like really enjoy the music and doing the shows and all that, so it's just... Thanks a lot for being here. We are so happy to have Poolside on the show. Thank you, thanks for cool. having us. Thanks, that was fun.